Okay. Huh? <laughs> it's uh, always a pleasure to welcome our next guest to this program. This woman uh, is a talented actress. Uh, she was one of the stars of the television show Taxi and has most recently been in such motion pictures as Perfect, uh, Johnny Dangerously, and The Man Who Loved Women. She is now appearing here on Broadway in the show Social Security. Please welcome actress Mary Lou Henner. to see you. That's a, that's I've a, been so excited just because I wanted to wear this dress on your show. It's nice. It's, uh, it has a metallic feel to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just... It's got, you know what it's like? It's like those little, remember those little candies on a piece of paper that yeah. you used to bite off? Well, that's what this is yeah, like. What, do you know what the material is? Because um, it, it, there's some metal kind of thing. I don't know. You want to look at the label? Well. No, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, David, unzip me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, and I'd be a fool to pass that up, wouldn't I? <laughs> I know he got, you got mad because I didn't shake your hand before, but I didn't know. Not only you did you, coming. no, no, not no, only No, but did I didn't you... know. I didn't see that that's what you were doing. You turned on your heel and you stormed I out of the studio. because I couldn't wait to get dressed. That's, that's the thing that actresses do. They turn on their heel and they storm. I'm not out. Jane Seymour, you remember? Start... <laughs> um, I, was, I forgot I was going to ask you. Oh, now tell oh. me what the deal is on shoulder pads. When are we going to get rid of these? Because... No, this is a hanger. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, when are you going to get rid of them? I don't but, know. I mean, they came a few years ago, and then and then they've ballooned, well, and now we're just... Uh... But they were, they, they were here in the 40s, These have too. to be inflated, right? See? Yeah, you have to, like, blow them off. That's right. But uh, aren't we tired of the shoulder pad look? Um, no, because it kind of gives you a good line. I don't know. Oh, yeah, like, like you need more line. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, yes. No, it sort of, you know, gives you a good balance or something. I don't oh, know. you have. Your balance is perfect anyway. But no, Thank seriously, you. this is a, a stunning dress, and I just, for one, I'm tired of uh, shoulder pads. Not that it doesn't look great, but, I mean, these are sizable. These that are, must... Well, they're... Yeah, I guess that's my shoulder. Yeah, see, yeah. Thing, so. yeah. Yeah, they're pretty... Well... It but goes see, with now, a dress, I'm sorry. Yeah, but once shoulder pads become passe, you'll never again be able to wear that dress, No, right? I'll take them out. I mean, I add pads to things that didn't have it, so I can take them out of things that do. See, enough of this uh, tomfoolery. Um, okay. How, how's the, uh, the show going? The oh, Broadway great. Show. I just what started is, a week ago. Social Security. It's, it's you and Security. Ted Cliff, Danson. No, Cliff Gorman. Cliff Gorman, right, right. <laughs> no, Cliff Gorman, and uh, it's at the Barrymore Theater. Mike Nichols directed it. All right. And it's a uh, play by Andrew Bergman. It's about a woman and her husband and her sister and her mother and her, mm -hmm. you know, brother-in-law. And it's like all these people in this woman's life. And it's An adult relationship comedy drama. Yes. But it's about somebody who comes from like a neighborhood sort of background mm -hmm. and now entertains famous people in her home. Mm -hmm. And her mother comes to live with her and she's so afraid of being exposed, you know. To these people as, that, as uh, an ordinary person yes yeah. as an ordinary person or as you know no, I mean, no you, like you mentioned mike nichols directed it now mm -hmm. and uh, once a guy directs it he doesn't he's not there to direct it every well, night well he right? came he came in for a lot of the rehearsals i mean peter lawrence also put us in the show so he he spent a lot of time with us putting it in but putting us in but um but mike was there but like right he's not there every night like our director no, is no, here no. every night oh no 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 once once the show is running he comes back and checks up on it once in a while yeah, but yeah. you know and, and and you took over for uh, marlo thomas marlo thomas and then maureen anderman replaced her for a while and then i came in does, does phil donahue still hang around there i don't know <laughs> no but you want to know something you know i had a very interesting experience a year ago because i you know, i find that hard to believe did you it's <laughs> <laughs> a joke it's so cute it's a joke <laughs> oh I, I mean, do you know Wait how sexy... Howard! Howard! What? What's oh, going so on So we here? did it, and then Howard didn't... Try one more. Oh. Okay. Oh. You had an interesting experience happen. He must happen. have been listening to us. Yeah. Interesting experience happened. An interesting... I know, you're talking about Phil Donahue. Do you know that I um, hosted the Oprah Winfrey show? You I went on to Oprah. No, yeah. I didn't realize. Before that. Oprah went to, in, you know, to national syndication, oh, yeah, she when was, she was a just show in Chicago. Chicago. Right, right, right. So I did the show for a week. Yeah. That must have been great. It was really who, fun. Who were some of your guests? guests? Um, well, we had, you know how like they do stupid pet tricks on this show? Well, we yeah. sort of had stupid adult tricks yeah. from, from Chicago. Really? I mean, it was a stupid adult act, sort yeah. of. I mean, it was, well, anybody watching is going to be really offended. But, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was like, you know, Chicago people who do their, their club acts and then they talk about it. It was like a, a talent it. show. Yeah, it was like a talent yeah. show, but then they talked about their experiences. But you know what else we had? We had like a Bruce Springsteen day, because Bruce was in Chicago uh -huh. that time. But it wasn't Bruce, it was like near brushes with Bruce. Oh, yeah. yeah. People who, you know, had like yeah. cleaned up hotel rooms after him yeah. and stuff like that. Did you, uh, 
did you find that, that, that doing the show was more difficult or easier than you thought it was going to be? Once, once they're, they're used to a host. Then, I don't you know. like to think of Oprah as a well-oiled <laughs> machine. I'm, I'm sorry. I uh, so got to put my foot down somewhere. And, uh, you know, Oprah's a wealthy woman. She's I made a, a huge sum of money on this deal. Something yeah. like 20 million bucks a year. Or something. She's fun. I've actually never even met her, but yeah. I like I like her. Yeah. She, and she continues to act, I guess, as well. Mm. Now, you were, uh, well, you're from Illinois, and you, right, you were, uh, uh, what kind of kid were you? I was um, outstanding teenager of Illinois. When I, <laughs> I was like one of those smart kids, you know, yeah. like those kids in school that everybody Do they hates. still have that competition to be named um, outstanding? I don't know. I should look into it, you know, and go back and visit them. Did <laughs> visit you, uh, the well, I mean, how do they determine who's the outstanding? They pick uh, kids from all over the United States. Each high school submits a list of names, yeah. and then they investigate the kids, and they pick two from every, uh, one from every State. Did you have a, a huge grade point average? And, and I had a huge. I had everything going for me in yeah. school. You yeah. know, I mean, I, you know, I was just one of those people yeah. that it, things were easy for me in school. So I had four scholarships to go to the University of Chicago. Wow. And things like that. So but your, I your family must have been really proud of you. Yeah, they yeah. were. They were. I, I got the thing I was most excited about is the statuette looked like an Oscar. Yeah. So sort of, for it. <laughs> I kind of like that. Did you? Yeah. Uh, were you a cheerleader and stuff like that? No. Well, I wanted to be, but my mother believed that if you were a cheerleader, it would hurt your female organs. So she, would <laughs> so she wouldn't let any of us be cheerleaders. But my mother had a lot of theories. She, she had, my mother had a theory that you weren't allowed to wear a bra until you were fully developed because otherwise it would stop your development. Mom well, apparently knows what she's talking about. <laughs> you can see my sister. <laughs> are you still on one of those uh, goofball diets the last time Wait you Wait a minute. Your... Not goofball diet. It's like a way of life diet. It's the way I eat all the time. And what do you eat? If you were to go out to dinner tonight, you probably will, won't yeah, you? Yeah, probably. What, what will you have? Where maybe are you some go? fish or some like Kobe pasta or a oh, vegetable nothing wrong plate. With that. Well, you can get everything that I yeah, eat in, yeah. you know, in like normal kind of restaurant. And, and uh, you, are you married uh, now? Are you engaged? Are you dating? Because uh, for a long, long time you were seriously involved with a guy who, who we could never mention on the show, but uh, mention him. <laughs> no, I was just very seriously involved with John Travolta, That's right. and, you know. And but now, how about I that? Like... Are you still involved? No, in we're, we're Johnny and I are good friends. Oh, you are not. We are. <laughs> He's coming to see me in the show, so there. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I'm involved with the director, uh, Robert Lieberman, is famous. The, the, the director of what? His, well, he directs a lot of television. Oh, 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 he directed a, director, a film, a Table for Five. He's yeah. a director. How long have you known the man? Uh, Sixteen months. Yeah, nice guy. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Do you get the sense that he's just trying to cash in on your success? <laughs> He makes more money than I do, yeah. so, you know. You have, to be very, you have to be very careful, though, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah. I mean, you know that. It's hard to meet people, isn't it? Now, why do you suppose those ponds wouldn't freeze in this kind of weather? Um, maybe they weren't putting the water. No. I mean, we're... <laughs> Just water in the pond. That's no, but... how you get a pond. No, yes, I know that. But, um, let's see. It's an actual pond? Well, no, there's several. There's, like, summer ponds and summer well, little parks, summer streams. Maybe it was too deep. Well, I it's mean, gotta be, it has to be. It has to be like at the University of Chicago, where we went to school. They, where I went to school, they used to freeze a certain thing that wasn't a pond, and it, it had to be of a certain level, otherwise it wouldn't freeze. Maybe the pond was too deep. No, no, these are these are ponds. And a year ago this week, they were all frozen, and you could go out and you could skate on them. I think somebody's yeah, but just the weather. Do you think what? Somebody's been goofing off with my tax dollar. <laughs> Do you think like they've changed the atmosphere so that uh, all of a sudden water's not the same thing as it was a year ago? Yeah. See, no, you know what? No, I, do, I believe that. I believe yeah, that. Look Honestly, at I'm not kidding you. I have, the water is not the same as it was a year ago. I think that they have like screwed around with the atmosphere, and there's something different about the weather. I, you know, like the, the hottest month used to be August. And now it's not. Yeah, anymore. but over a hundred years, it all. No, 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 no. That no. doesn't matter. What uh, you think we're going to be in the southern hemisphere soon? I mean, we're no, going to no, have that kind of no, weather. No, no, no. But it, that, that's like saying you go to Minneapolis and it's raining, and you come home. Wait, and you say, all I know. It always wait. rains in Minneapolis. That's All not true. I know is that during the Olympics in, in, in Los Angeles, there was terrible weather for the months before the Olympics. The two weeks of the Olympics, there was beautiful weather, and then there was terrible weather again. So I think someone screwed around with the weather. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm serious. I'm absolutely now, serious. Who I think that there that people are capable of doing that. So who's? But it's always beautiful in the summer in Los Angeles. No, but not. I mean, how did it happen that it was? Rain? No, it's not. It's not. So you think it's like the damn, the Russians or something? The Russians. Maybe the Russians. The, no. the Olympics weren't in 83. No, the Olympics were in 84, but That's I'm right. saying it rained in 83. It rained like all through August in 83. It, it, the, it did. Look it up. The, I'm not kidding. The rainy period for Los Angeles is, is October to like March. Right. But that year it rained in August. And it rained the two weeks before the Olympics. So now you just crushed our pictures. I know. Gee, we have to go, and I can't understand why. <laughs>
Just when we're getting into something really good here. Really important. Uh, good luck with the uh, play. I was going to show the pictures from the party, but we don't have time. Great okay. dress. Nice to Thank see you again, Mary. We'll be right back with Iggy Pop.